The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? We're live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Slovakia against England. Well you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game though Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Alexander-Arnold, and angling it back, and a loss of concentration, how about the cross, Walker, and return to Kane, really fine piece of defending play to break it up, and the starting 11 for Slovakia. Well, it's a back four, a narrow midfield three, and a very disconnected front three. But if the midfield players give good support to the central striker, this 4-3-3 system could work really well today. The save was a good one. taken short and Harry Kane ready to pounce and clears his lines options in the centre and Bellingham Foden now Walker It took a touch off the defender, so it will be a corner. And they're going for the short one. Yuehi. Bukayo Saka. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Well, last time out at the Euros, England fell at the final hurdle, losing in the final itself at the hands of Italy on penalties. But you look at the squad, you look at where England should be, and we're led to believe, Stuart, that this could well be England's Euros. Absolutely. I think England are a very good team. They've got a manager that has failed in the very biggest games. That's where he's got to improve. And you mentioned that game against Italy in 2020. That's a game they should have won. They should have beaten France at the World Cup as well. Gareth Southgate has to get this right. England have got some great players. They should be favourites for this tournament. Oh, this is looking promising. And the corner has been given. Over it comes. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Juraj Kutska. Is this the moment? Nicely saved.
And he's fired over the corner. And the goalkeeper's touch. That was crucial. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. And the short option preferred. Oh, it's narrowly wide. So unlucky. Saka well that looked to me like excessive force what was the referee's reading of it and that's going to be all for him in this game anyway Stuart and if they're not careful it could be all for the team as well they're going to be under a lot of pressure now substitution then let's see how it affects the match Well, ball back with England now. Walker. On to Alexander-Arnold. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Stopped a certain goal. Peter Pekaric. Kutska. Benesh. On the ball, Harazli. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Saka. You can almost see. Big chance! Oh, good save! They take it short. Foden. He takes A. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Rice. Great defending. Kane. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the most of one of these chances. Yes, a really up and flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Electing to shoot. Oh, did so well to deny him. And a short corner, let's see. Harazlin. Chance here, and the keeper was taking care of the situation. Lobotka. Credit to them for winning back possession. Jude Bellingham. Benesh. Chance to play it in. Good looking move. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
But he hasn't really been able to hit the heights in this game so far, has he, Bukayo Saka? Yeah, their passing hasn't been great, but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. So back underway here into the second half. And Bellingham takes the shot. Well, going for power and so close to finding the net. Martin Dubravka. And this pressing approach is working out rather nicely. Declan Rice. And Bellingham. Rice with it. Jude Bellingham. Now Harry Kane. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Well, it's pass after pass, keeping their opponents thinking. Harry Kane, promising move this from England. Walker failed to hold it. Advantage played. Ivan Schranz. Benesch. And Pekarik in possession. Moving the ball nicely, but can they forge ahead? Options in the middle. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Over it comes. Well, it has come to nothing. Terrific save. And taken short. Preferring to go infield. That was going in. Thirty minutes left for play. Really good challenge. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Saka, Trent Alexander-Arnold, a real opening now, and there it is, the breakthrough, that will do nicely. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. He dealt with that ball played in rather well. Yes. 
Stanislav Lobotka. Skriniar. England with possession again. Bukayo Saka. Walker now. Harry Kane. England looking dangerous. Trippier. And the decision offside here. Well, they've decided to make a change. <laughs> Throw in here for England. Stones. Walker now. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much, hence the award of a free kick by the referee. corner kick it is as England go looking for more well they fancy a short one now who can he pick out well no luck in terms of finding the target Denis Vavro on the ball, Harazin. A bit sloppy in possession. Declan Rice. Phil Foden now. Rice with it. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, he's going to be cross with himself straight into that human barrier. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. And the short option preferred. And quick thinking defensively. Hansko. Denis Vavro. Onto Lobotka. On the attack in the closing phase. Later to the box. Not all that convincing defensively. And the move breaks down. Well, as you can see, England have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and are looking really threatening every time they go forward. Another now, and that would put the game to bed. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Trippier. Now with Bellingham. Dangerous-looking attack. And Bellingham. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Not the best challenge, free kick. And time for the change now. A 
very effective clearance under pressure doesn't seem to be bothering him chance to cross really fine piece of defending play to break us up Trent Alexander-Arnold and with that the referee blows for full time and Slovakia have lost the game Stuart, how would you analyse the performance? Well Derek, it was a poor result but it was a really tight contest both sides had their chances could have gone either way but in the end they will be disappointed Well he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match Well he obviously scored the winning goal but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.